Alrighty, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Have a uh, having a good day. I hope your day is as min max as mine. This is Mastermind OSG. El Domenica 2. Hello. Good to see you. Your father was a hamster. Yes, it's an insult from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's a uh, pop culture reference. Bit older one. From, uh, yep. Having a good day? Fantastic. Good to see you. Welcome on in. How you doing? Uh, I've got a screaming child. Uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, give me like, give me like a minute. I'll be right back. I just gotta, gotta get him to settle down and go to sleep. And then we'll get started on our game. Um, here, I'm going to switch it back to pre-stream so you can see the upcoming news. And uh, yeah, don't forget to cast your spells, play some wizard battle, get your resources flowing. Enjoy those spells. Be right back. game into my chatbot. It's called Wizard Battle. You can play it. You've got a scrolling uh, thing right here. Your brother too. That's right. <laughs> well, if you don't like what the bot's, uh, the bot's insults, you can always attack it. Cast some spells at it. Type in the spell ca uh, exclamation as a command function. Cast. And then whatever spell name that you want to cast. And then you cast it at the bot and it will do damage to it. You've got a list of spells in the Wizard Battle Handbook which can be found in the panels below in the red banner that says Wizard Battle. Or if you're on mobile it's in the About page. I will show you. Watch this. Cast zap space at mastermind osg bot. Like that. And it will cast a spell at the bot. Unfortunately, the bot is dead right now, so it's just insulting people. But um, here, let me heal myself, and then we will cast Zap at Mastermind OSG. Check that out. Give it a moment. Bot's a little slow today. There you go. Casting spells at people. Why is the bot so slow? Whew. That's a lot of lag. I think I might be hitting up against the limits of what this bot can do. Sorry. Unfortunately, I, 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 English is my only language, uh, so I, I, I really must apologize. It's, uh, it's about the extent of what I can do. But please feel free to enjoy the stream. Thank you, I appreciate that. I worked hard on it. 
It was a labor of love. I've always wanted to make my own video game, and now that I have people watching me, I can. And I did. And it was wonderful. I learned a lot about some basic coding, and it was all sorts of fun. Okay. Can I attack the bot? The bot is currently dead. It is dead right now. So you will have to wait for it to come back to life. Or in the uh, channel points section, underneath the chat bar, there's a channel points. You can spend 300 channel points to use combat bot, which will bring the bot back to life. Otherwise, it regenerates once an hour. Hey, Curbs! Welcome on in! Good to see you. The bot's running a little slow tonight. I think I might have left my computer on too long. <laughs> and uh, it's having a, a bit of trouble processing, I think. So it might be a little... yeah. Alright, the camera's inverted here. I forgot. Yep, that sure is slow. It is really slow, I'm considering. I, I might, if it becomes a problem, I might consider stopping the stream and uh, restarting my computer. But we'll have to see. Well, the game seems to be running uh, running at a normal speed. You know what I might do? I might reinitialize the bot. I'll tell you what. Let's let's pause for a moment, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try rebooting this bot. Let's let's give it just a minute to reboot and see what that does for us. There we go. You probably need to leave soon. All right, Elle, well, thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate you stopping in, even if it's just for a moment. It means a lot to me. So thank you for showing up. Okay, I am rebooting the bot now. If you're rebooting, I'm curious if that'll make it uh, able to manifest this. Unfortunately, it will. Um, every time I reboot the bot, all the timers reset. But uh, the, the, the lag is so low, so long, that it, it's, it's unavoidable. Free mana! <laughs> yeah. Free mana is always good. What? Maybe it's processing something. If it works, it's allowed. That's right. All right, the bot is active once more. Give it a try. Hmm. The game's a little more responsive too. That might have been it.
still slow. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Computer's not overheating. My computer's actually really good. Uh, yeah, no, temperature's normal. It's just having trouble processing, I guess. Um, oh, you know what? I remember what it was last time we were doing this. checking to make sure all of the things are and then I'll go ahead and close discord down too there we go okay that should make things a bit better Yeah, no, it might just be the, uh, it might just be the processing of the game itself. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to see. There is a lot of, uh, stuff going on in this, in this level, so it could just be that the level itself is making things a little slow. Of course, main player wouldn't work. Why would it? <laughs> Sorry, man. I was just trying to help. Well, the Atlawa and Kane need no help. Oh, just about to spring into action, huh? Forget this guy, Spyro. Come on. What do they want with you, anyway? It's oh. none of your business. Now move. I've got a tribe to save. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> He's cranky. Yeah. <laughs> 
encourage the team to message fun facts. What kind of a fun fact do you want to, uh... Uh, no. No! No! Ah! Here we go! I, uh, fell off. What kind of a, something about pennies? Curves, did you know that the rarest penny in the world is worth more than six thousand dollars? What what was the actual price? I think there was a uh shoe. I don't actually uh, remember the number now. Why? Because it was a misprint from a single year a long time ago. Rarest penny in the world. Here we go. I need to, uh... The 1909 VD, uh, VDB Matte Proof Lincoln Scent is the rarest of all matte proof pennies. Produced between 1909 and 1916. About 1.1 million matte proof pennies... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. About 11,000... I can't count. 1,194 1909 matte proof pennies were made with the designer's initials VDB, but as far as an unknown reason, less than 200 are known to exist today. The r rarest penny in the world, the most valuable penny to date of this post is 1943 San Francisco mint copper penny. This penny sold for over one million dollars and is the highest auction sales ever for a one cent coin. Yeah, there it is. I found it. It's the 1949 San Francisco Mint Copper Penny because it was a misprint and it was only done once and there are only, um, and there's only one known copy and there were only ever made like a thousand of them. They were a commemorative San Francisco penny. They're very, very rare, designed to be collectible, and they ended up being misprints and not very common, so they got rid of them. And now they're super, super, incredibly rare. And it's worth over a million dollars. Fun fact. So I saved these guys. Where do I go now? I go this way. It's time for a fun fact. All right, another fun fact. What do you want to hear about this guy? Yeah. Nerf, but specifically the darts. All right. Did you know that an enormous amount of the, of the company's funding goes more towards the darts than for the actual Nerf guns? Fun fact. The design of the darts, specifically the foam, the aerodynamics, the length, the tips, there was more design, uh, design in the darts themselves than in the actual guns for a long time before they finally perfected the, uh, the design. Now here's my question, okay. Why do you know all this random stuff? <laughs> That's a pretty good question, isn't it? Well, it's because I'm curious. Because I enjoy learning about things. And I enjoy hearing about interesting tidbits and facets. But I'd like to say that one of the reasons why that is... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just read the entirety of Wikipedia. Uh, not quite. Oh no! I didn't want to do that! I just wanted to do the, do the thing. Where's the button? Is 
Did you know? More to the point, some cats can be allergic to humans. Did you know that some humans can be allergic to themselves? Fun fact. Also, hello, Val. There it is! I've been looking for you everywhere. How? Oh, because certain proteins of the human body can be separate from the rest of the body, and when it comes to the contact with the human body, it can uh, cause an allergic reaction due to a rare genetic deformity in the person's um, in the person's uh, uh, immuno uh, immunostructure. What did Spyro eat as he grew up? I mean, if we're going Lion King rules, he probably ate bugs, but he was raised by bugs, so I don't know, rabbits, maybe? So can he let some humans just die of allergies to themselves? Yes! Yes, they can. They very much can. Okay, seriously? I'm going in circles. Where is the thing? Now I have to go around and then go off to things. And now we're progressing. For some reason, my computer is running really super slow. It's It has been on all day, and I neglected to uh, turn it off. So it could just be that my RAM is run down. But um, I think. Like, everything is just running real slow. The bot's running slow. I was working on Wizard Battle today, so I thought maybe I just input something wrong, but now that I've been thinking about it, I have been running this computer very hard today. And I might have overdone it a little. Case in point, the bot's trying to attack, but it can't process anything. Oh. Hello. Where there be accidental damage broken, there be useful things. Let's try going up this. There we go. There's the progression I was looking for. Wild well, Holly Oldo! Seriously? We really need to get a hold of the name generator for these monsters. This name generator is awesome. I love it. roll better. Did you see that? They roll better than the other enemies do.
things are running a little slow on the computer today. I might have forgotten to uh, shut it down before reaching the stream time, and now it's uh, the everything is running a little slow. So I apologize if the bot is slow or if the response time is slow or something like that. It's, uh, that's on me today. The graphics in this game are good. When did it come out? Give me a moment. Alright, let's take a look. This game came out in 2006. There was quite a bit of time between the Spyro Trilogy and this particular Spyro game. However, this is nothing compared to the third game. Uh, these games are on the PS2, so we're looking at much better graphics, and this is actually really good graphics for the PS2 to begin with. No, this is actually late 2000s. Well, this is mid 2000s. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Oh god. I am literally freezing. Playing oddball, you like it. Ah, better. Perfect. Just like you. Oh. Hello, Rocky. We're gonna play uh, bowling with the rock man. <laughs> I have nothing better to do with my time. Guys, when you're playing through these Spyro games, Fire Breath and Aerial Strike is like the most potent DPS combination you can come up with. <laughs> I just threw him off the edge. Why bother fighting when I can control the battlefield?
Bye. <laughs> that is a lesson in efficiency, guys. that falls off the edge is automatically sent to me because this game is nice. We're starting to get quality of life improvements in video games at this day and age. Ooh, Earth Magic. I want to learn Earth Magic. I got enough dragon death breath for all of you. got enough resources for it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. What should I add in? Bad guys can't run or hide from these heat-seeking bolts of thunder. Oh. Upgrade this breath. All right. Well, we might as well upgrade the firebomb first. Firebomb of melting magma. Let's go ahead and get the lightning breath upgraded too. So this will do more damage. Ikalar's uh, Mars Almighty Electric Stream. You want a lightning? Well, here's the whole thunderstorm. Press and hold X to upgrade this breath. Nice. We don't have any upgrades for now. Not enough to do But. Can test out a new lightning breath. Woo! It's got a lot of reach to it. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of damage to it. Jeez. Dude, that melts these guys. Wow. 
Oh, gets the fall. They're supposed to be like mini bosses, but you can just throw them off the edge. Oh gosh. There's so much grass in this level. It's hard to rent it. I don't think this is the intended way to get up there. 
think I need to, uh, yeah, here we go. actually get all the way up to the top, but I can get over to there now. Experience! Get me your yummy, yummy experience. Delicious. Uh -oh, did I mess up? I messed up! Oh my gosh! My poor processor. Why is it running so slow? This game is 20 years old. It should not be doing this. to use the water wheels to move ahead. Oh, it's never easy. I have a child awake. I'll be right back. Take a moment, let my computer catch up. <laughs> There we 
we go. Okay, we've hit our buttons. Oh, here's another one. There we go. We had to get that water wheel flowing. Smallen Grand Trunk. What a name. I love DPS. I enjoy immensely the feel of their health draining oh so rapidly. There's also something to be said for throwing them off the cliff though. Talk about this game, not later ones.
so yummy. Come on in. Always a pleasure. We are having a wonderful time. There we go. However, this particular level is absolutely covered in particle effects, and I am having a bit of a time trying to get it to uh, cooperate with my computer here. Pick up the gems! They're right there! Pick up the gems! You can do it! Let's keep trying. It's okay. Bye, Using the uh, the channel point projection of which only she can activate. Oh, 
New blitz around right now. Take them. Take them all. that dropping enemies from just about any height with this attack automatically kills them. Which is good to know in a place like this, in the mountains, where clearly it makes total sense that I would learn Frost Breath instead of Earth Magic, but I mean, okay. Give the bad guys a cold shoulder with more freezing power. 
We will definitely upgrade this, because ice is not nearly strong enough. Frosty streams can spray entire enemy gangs. Oh, okay, so this is widespread frost. Even better. Um, why not? Make our cold breath useful. Hey! Direct from the Frost Age. Ice Age. Unleash rivers of ice over everything that's standing away. Even more area of effect. Awesome. But first, let's see what we can do with this. Hey! Imprison your enemies in electric caves with lightning for easy air combos. Press and hold X to upgrade this breath. Okay, so these literally knock them into the air so that you can combo easier. Good to know. Oh, uh oh. Electricity upgraded is good for home. That's always nice. Hello. All the high oddballs are about to start pouring in. Everyone loves you. It's like they come to see my stream only to get to see you. Just the same way I do. Don't tickle me. Oh, and bye. Oh, hello. Bada boom. Big bada boom. I believe that's what we call thoroughly pwned. Ah! 
How did he survive that? Ready? It's okay. They won't survive this. He survived it. I said, he won't survive this. He survived. My stream for you stop have to reload. Yeah, my uh, encoding is not losing any frames, so it must be it must be on your end. Big boop. Uh oh, combat bots active, everyone. Be warned. standard, but did you know that every major uh, country in the world has its own uh, type of dragon uh, from its own mythology? Almost every developed country in, in every part of the world has a dragon of some sort. some gigantic, uh, powerful lizard-type creature in any sort of mythology. And they usually have unusual powers. Some scholars believe that it might have something to do with the human- with the, uh, a storyteller's primal fear response. So, Dragons are considered, uh, are in almost every culture considered an apex predator. Incredibly smart, powerful, unknown attacks, lizard like, and also uh, giant and very difficult to kill. So uh, they always have those same things in common. 
So the idea is that, mythologically speaking, it's not that every country has a dragon, it's that the apex predator of the human always looks the same. And whenever somebody comes up with the most dangerous thing they can think of, they end up with those traits, which is what defines the quintessential dragon. It is essentially the ultimate creature that could be conceived on the planet Earth. You again? Why don't you get out of here and leave That's me That's the reigning theory, anyway. I'm the boss here, nobody else. Boss of what? Shh. You're all alone? Only until I kick these bums out. Which reminds me, I can't stand here chatting with purple dragons and mosquitoes. Hey, whoa, whoa, who are you calling a mosquito? Besides, it's not safe for you here. Oh, concern about our welfare now? No need. We can take care of ourselves. Anyway, we need to get to the shrine. You'll never ah! make it. Or that they roamed the earth long ago. I like that one. Yeah, there's a uh, there was a reigning theory for a while that a T Rex was actually a dragon in disguise, and that the arms were supposed to be up on the back as little nubbly wings, which would make more sense. But um, unfortunately, that has since been debunked, which is really sad, because I would have really loved to believe that uh, T Rexes are actually just dragons. <laughs> Shattered into a million pieces. I love it. Seriously, this is like really laggy. I might have to. I might have to try and uh, fix this. The problem is, I don't know. I think that it's actually going to fix anything because. Just the way it is. I don't know if this is actually going to fix anything if I try to fix it. And I kind of don't want to stop the stream because that'll uh, that'll that'll mess with my statistics. So I kind of want to just try and. Uh, push through it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. What do you guys think? Should we try and uh, restart the computer and just reload everything?
Okay, we're starting to wake our way to the tops here now. Remember when we found one's brother in the second game? Um, not sure what you're talking about, John. Fought one on the first level and the other one on the third level. Enemy. You know, I think I vaguely remember that. We were, um, we were playing through the game and we found, we found uh, uh, enemies that had similar names. And we're like, we found his brother, let's get him! I think I remember that. Something Stone Thrower. Oh yeah, Stone Thrower! That was his name, yeah! We found Stone Thrower, uh, we, we, we defeated Little Stone Thrower, and then later we, uh, there was, there was Big Brother Stone Thrower, and we had to defeat him too. I do remember that. Good times, good times. Oh, do we have to push things around now? Well, let's go get all these experience uh, crystals first. Casey, Casey, Casey. Oh, there's one still over there. Delicious. Yeah, here we go. Rolly balls. Rolly ball. Rolly ball. This is gonna be an annoying level. I can already tell. Switching to phone data, this buffering is no fun. Uh oh. Is it possible that my internet just needs to be updated? Just like refreshed? I've also been online all day. Either way, that would cause problems for the screen, I guess. Him to just stand behind that gate waiting for us. It's taking way longer to transmit. It's like a good 20 to 30 seconds a day. Usually it's less on a good night. Um, well, it may just be that our internet's been overloaded or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure how to fix it in this particular moment. 
We'll just try what we can, and uh, once we get to the next level, if it's still as laggy, we might uh, we might take a break and, and reset things. The Shrine God has not been appeased since Cinder's forces came. He is not happy. So is anybody fun around here? You can't possibly face the God of the Shrine alone. Not all of us are loners, King. I'm not going alone. Maybe someday you'll learn that two heads are better than one. Oh. Even if they are pinheads. Yeah, what? <gasps> nope. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? What's that over there? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not sure I like the looks of this thing. Oh, now you tell me. Fighting these guys, I'm just dousing them all over the edge. Oh, yeah. We haven't even left port yet.
set him up in Skyfire. We're gonna light the sky on fire. Took out the entire crew, except for the guy driving the ship. He is honor bound to stay there in the prow forever. You can do it! You can do it! Almost there! away from what I needed. There we go. I literally just had one, one, one tick left. Ah, uh, now I can shock two guys at once. Oh, we've got a moon calling. Oh my.
got him. The names on these guys now. I know, right? Whoever came up with this name generator is like really good at names because, like, they are very uh, wonderful. They're nice and varied, and they've got personality to them. And uh, I, my only complaint is that I don't know what these creatures are actually called. I always did wonder about that. Why is it you do a backflip hit and they start spinning in a horizontal plane? That, that doesn't quite make physics sense. Done better than I thought possible. Ah, oh, saying that had to hurt. More than you can imagine. There are some things you should know about the shrine before you enter. The fact that everyone near it is drunk and talking really slowly. <laughs> oh no, Cinder! And I think we're done here. Not before we rescue Sin. The Elvawa Shrine has been desecrated. And the god of the shrine has not been given tribute since Cinder's forces arrived. But if you lot of action can subdue parts, his huh? anger, the balance will be returned, and my people can come home. That's fine, but I came to free Cyril. You must go through the god of the shrine to free him. Knew you were gonna say <laughs> This whole game, it's trying so hard. I think it's just the level that we're in. There are just so many moving parts with all of the grass that's lying around. Too many things to animate.
this is going to end poorly. Oh, okay. I thought someone was going to break the bridge. Be careful. Remember last time. I know, I know, but Cinder left and I don't see any Ice Kings hanging around this place. No, but there is the Earth King. Look! It's Big Boomy! The Earth Monster! When will I learn? When things look good, run for the hills. The stone sentinel. That's what I'm talking about. I've never gotten the respect I deserve, the praise that should be mine. That's very nice, Kane, but we have to get back to our home. Figure out how to stop Cinder for good. 
My dear Alawas, uh, I am the mighty spark, scourge of the despots. Yes, yes, old boy, we'd like nothing more than to stay and be a part of your primitive barbaric society, but duty calls. Duty calls. If you must, you must. But know that you're now part of the Atlawa tribe. One of us. One of us. I One of nice us. Fun. One of us. One of us. By the way, <laughs> you were right. Huh? About what? Maybe two heads are better than one. Even if one of them belongs to an annoying mosquito. Mosquito me? Is that what? Okay. That's it. We're done with that level. Oh my gosh, that was painful. All right, we're going to see if the uh, see if the, the the processing is is better once we're out of that out of that zone with the with the clouds. As has Voltaire, I oh, see so that months better. of tortured captivity have done nothing to slow that electric tongue of yours from incessantly wagging. It's just that it's all so exciting, exhilarating, enchanting, enthralling, and yeah. All right, no more thesaurus for you, pal. All of you, please be quiet. It is certainly encouraging that Spyro has been able to free two of you to allow this reunion. But haven't we forgotten someone? Yes, yes, of course. Terrador. Precisely. Now. How do we proceed? I believe I can help, Igniters. Well, young chap, since you learned a few things about ice on tall plains, I suggest we adjourn to the training room so that I can teach you some more. The legacy of the great ice dragons of yore. My ancestors, who come from the best of the best of this somewhat bedraggled lineage, is long and storied. With my help, rescuing Terrador should be a certainty. Uh, your pomposity, arrogance, and pretentiousness is odious to the extreme. Shall we? Mm, we're still running a little bit slow. All right. Um, tell you guys what, let's go ahead and take a, uh, take a little bit of a break. I'm going to reboot and we're going to see, uh, if that has any effect on things. So, uh, I'll see you soon. We'll be back with some more dragon -y action. Uh, just don't go anywhere. Just go get some stuff. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Let's reboot this and we will be back.